give you just the overall performance of tonight's game? It was a team effort. I, we had a lot of we had a lot of motivation. It's kind of probably our last game here at Gohawk Stadium as seniors, so had a lot of internal motivation to just leave it all out here. Tonight. I think that we did a good job watching film and practicing throughout the week, and that's what's helped us the past two weeks. So we're just going to keep building off that, going into the playoffs. Going off that, I kind of wanted to make a statement tonight. I went and bust the door down, and we had a great week practice. So, yeah. And then, Luke, kind of talk about your offensive performance. You had two rushing touchdowns there at the beginning, and then kind of just kept the foot on the pedal there. Um, yeah, it all started with guys up front. Uh, they made a ton of great blocks, and Beaver, he made some good fakes with it too, so that all helps and opens up the holes really good. And then what do you guys think kind of stood out to you guys tonight in terms of the overall performance? Um, I think we came out right away. Um, we knew what our goal was, and we, uh, we got it done. We accomplished it. I think the guys were communicating really well on both sides of the ball, so and that helps. So. And then move, moving forward, what's going to be some of the things that you guys are going to take away from tonight's win as you guys get ready for playoffs? Uh, I still think we got to keep our head in it, uh, take it one day at a time. Uh, now we just got to worry about ourselves and how we can improve. Obviously, we have a lot to improve on. Um, we're going to get better, watch the film a lot more, and then we're going to keep on going. And then a 47 0 win on your guys' likely last game here at Gohawk Stadium. So, what can you say about that and your career as Gohawks? It's a blast. I love it. Love every minute of it. It's a great way to end it. Yeah. Good way to go out of here. We lost some four years here. And then, what are you guys looking forward to most the rest of the season? Oh, um, it's kind of like do or die time. I think when it's big games, we play really well. Uh, we, we're gonna have to prepare well and keep on going. I'm looking forward to just hanging out with my boys and going to practice every day. And then you guys were up 33-0 at the half. So, kind of, what was the message in the locker room? Don't step off of it. We got to keep going. Uh, the game wasn't over. We had a whole half to play again. So uh, we, we had to go out there, come out of the half, and. Keep attacking right away. We can't. We can't take the foot off the pedal. And then uh, the student section wore red tonight in honor of Coach Fink. So what did it mean to all of you to get a really big win here on the last game of the season, and then also to have that factor in the game? Um, that was really special. Um, I remember when I was a sophomore playing on the team. Um, some Coach Fink passed. It was really tough for all of us. We lost this year. Remember him tonight. Yeah, it was big motivation. I mean. He's a great guy. We miss him. miss him every day. Miss him out on the practice field. He's a great coach. But we can't say enough about the dude. I mean, definitely motivates us to play a little harder. Life, life comes at comes at you fast, and you gotta live every day like it's your last. So. Can't take any day for granted. Exactly.